hello and welcome back to my channel so as you may or may not know I am building a house together with my boyfriend and I just thought let me make a video about this because this process it's taking forever for us Everything started two years ago when me and my boyfriend decided to buy ground to build a house because we want the house to be in a certain way so we didn't want to buy one that is already made we wanted to make it from scratch and it will be like we want to so the ground we found it pretty fast it's on a dead end street and it's really nice and quiet with a nice view but the only thing that I was really bothered about it was that the ground is crooked I mean imagine if you look like in front of the house the ground comes like this it's not that steep but yeah that was really bothering me in the beginning but now we started to build it and I I'm I'm happy with it it doesn't bother me anymore I kind of like it now the neighbors are already here they're already done with their house as you can see we installed their electricity okay so we bought the ground in September 2018 I think I'm not sure about this because it's been a really long time we made our uh, plans with the architect we found a company to build it and everything was done by February 2019 like all the documents the purchasing of the ground the stuff with the bank everything was okay we thought we're done and we can start and now the nightmare starts so normally when you want to build a house you need to respect some rules and you need to send all your papers with the plans of the house to the city hall and they need to approve it and it takes around one month to approve it but this is where everything went to hell because our plants got denied three times for some stupid reasons like you need to plant two trees in the garden so we decided okay we take an apple and a pear just to have some fruits you know and they're like no they need to be oaks cancelled so every time they did this, like for this stupid reasons, we had to change the plans, send them again and then wait for the answer. And this takes like one month and one month and one month and one month and so on. So after I think the third or fourth time they got approved and it's been already four months. So around June they've been approved, but I don't get this kind of system like why don't they tell you all the wrong stuff at once so then you can fix them all but no they decided to do like one at a time so we got delayed until june and then of course in june the people that we hired to build our house they took other projects because they couldn't wait for us for ever to start building our house so then we had to wait for them too we were supposed to start in september 2019 but that year were a lot of uh, storms and the wind was really strong so some of the walls that this contractor built they collapsed because of those storms so we got delayed again then in october when we had to start uh, digging the ground for the basement there was like a family problem with the people that were doing the basement because they were separate from the ones that were building the rest of the house i don't know what happened but they had to find someone else to dig the hole for the basement and we got delayed again until they found someone that could actually do it that year because it's construction everyone is busy this time everyone is busy all the time actually so it's really hard to find someone that it's available when you want them to the day has come that we finally started to dig the ground for the basement and it was December 2019 so one year later we could start building our house that's a long time so this is the hole for the basement it's finally done it's around 14 on 18 meters because our basement is 10 meters by 15 meters I think and this what you see here is just a part of the ground that we took out from the hole and this one needs to go back in the hole after the basement is built these are my parents they came to visit me from Romania and here you can see they already laid the isolation and poured the concrete for the basement 
To dig this hole took one day and one day to pour the base. A few days later they started to pour the walls for the basement. They had to do it in two separate times because the walls were too big. Here you can see the crane slash pump, I don't know what it is, that they used to pour the concrete. It's so huge! A pair of jeans, a shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like after they pour the concrete, they use this gigantic vibrator, because that's what it is, to get rid of the bubbles. I thought this was really funny. Here is my happy face in case you wanted to see my double chin. Two days after, they made the other walls and that's how they are gonna look like. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Then they removed the other frames. February 2020 came and it rained a lot. As you can see here, it was around 20 centimeters of water. Before they start to build the inside walls, we need to get rid of all the water so they can actually start and work there. When we checked the first time, the water, it was around 10 centimeters and three days later, when we decided to go and take all the water out, it was around 20 centimeters. So in just a few days, it grew a lot, but this means that our basement is waterproof. So that's good to know. So we had to use a kind of a vacuum cleaner for the water. and then use these two things to push the water to the vacuum as you can see here and this is how it looks like after more than five hours of work then finally we put the blue isolation and the ground back around the basement one day we went to check out the basement and we found this Everything collapsed because of the strong winds, but we fixed it. The walls of the basement were done in two days. Here on this tight space are going to be the stairs that are going up to the ground level. And here on the left side are going to be two rooms where there are going to be like electric stuff and air tubes and who knows what else. My boyfriend is in charge of this. And if we are going to the last room, you will find my happy place. Here is going to be my big and pretty and nice spacious gym. So I don't have to work out in my living room every day. Then we had another problem. The outside bricks that we chose, they could only be delivered at the end of the year, so at the end of 2020, because of this virus, everything was closed. All the warehouses were closed for a lot of weeks, so now we had to get other bricks. Guess what? One day later, we found out that they cannot deliver that sooner, because it was a mistake. So. Luckily, the mom of my boyfriend knows someone and then we contacted the people that make the bricks and we asked them like, tell us what do you have in stock already? Because if we have to wait until the end of the year, this is going to take too long. We need to do stuff because now we're not working so we can actually work on the house. And we finally found one brick that is available and it can be delivered so we hope that they're gonna be nice bricks because in the picture on the internet it looks one way and then in real life it looks some other way so we will see if they are cute i wanna see the stuff the world has got in store so we're now on a field trip to see the other bricks and this is it. This is the house that has the same bricks that we're gonna get. So we just thought uh, to stop and stare at it like some kind of creeps or something because why not? Today they put this really big pieces of concrete and they made the frame for the stairs. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. 
this red supporting beam was delivered the wrong size of course but this is how it looks like from under so this is our basement <laughs> nice stairs but our basement is finally here so this is gonna be the snooker table with everything here like a man cave and this is gonna be my cave it's gonna be the gym which is really big now comparing with how it looked without the roof and this I have to fill every hole everything next week from all these walls which are a lot that's gonna be a lot of work okay so that was it that was part one of me building my house i'm just gonna say me i know i'm not building it alone but i'm just gonna say me it's a really long process and i will keep you updated if you're interested who knows if you have any questions just leave them down below subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and if you want to see my face again if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye